Good afternoon, I'm Maddie Johnson with the National Weather Service, Northern Indiana. It is 2.30 p.m. on Tuesday, January 24th. I wanna take the next couple of minutes to bring you up to date on the latest forecast information concerning Wednesday's winter storm event. Winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories have been issued. The winter storm warnings can be seen on the map on the screen ranging from Indianapolis to Fort Wayne to Toledo. Moderate to significant travel impacts are expected on Wednesday with both the morning and the evening commutes affected. Snowfall rate could reach around one inch per hour on Wednesday morning. The important updates to note for this briefing are that we have slightly increased our snow totals to the southeast of Fort Wayne. We've also started the onset timing about one to two hours earlier than previously expected. And we also have increased our confidence in snow totals and travel impacts. This winter storm will last from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Wednesday with moderate to significant travel impacts. As you can see from the expected snowfall map, the heaviest swath of snowfall totals will be to Fort Wayne and to the southeast with up to six to nine inches expected from a line from Marion to Van Wert. Snow will develop early Wednesday morning before daybreak and may be heavy at times in the mid to late morning hours. Snowfall rates will be up to an inch per hour at this time. There will be significant impacts to travel, including both the morning and afternoon commutes on Wednesday. In addition, blowing snow is possible on north-south roads in open rural areas, but drifting will be minimal due to the heavy wet nature of the snow. We're also looking at a period of lake effect snow showers Thursday after the winter storm has moved through. The lake effect snow will be during the day on Thursday as scattered snow showers will develop near Lake Michigan. Snowfall totals across the area will range between one to three inches with locally higher amounts near Lake Michigan. In addition, minor travel impacts will be possible near and along Lake Michigan and light snow showers will linger during the day on Thursday for the entire area. Now, as for our winter storm on Wednesday, these are our forecast confidence levels for timing, location, and snow totals more than four inches and more than eight inches. As you can see, there is a high confidence in the timing of this event. There is also high confidence in travel impacts for Wednesday on the morning and the evening commutes. And we also have increasing confidence in a wide swath of four inches or more of snow with locations of the highest amounts of snow being along the I-69 and US-24 corridor. For the onset timing of the winter storm on Wednesday, snow will spread from south to north between 2 to 6 a.m. on Wednesday. And you can see that on the map on your screen. The threats are the, for accumulating snow with three to nine inches in total by Wednesday evening with the lowest amounts being near Lake Michigan and the highest amounts being southeast of Fort Wayne. There's also a threat for blowing snow with an east-northeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with potential gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Some blowing snow will be possible but limited to open rural areas along north-south roads given the heavy wet nature of the snow. Another concern we have is for travel impacts the highest impacts to travel will be on Wednesday between sunrise and sunset, where we do expect moderate impacts to travel. Travel will be impacted by heavy snowfall rates of up to one inch per hour, especially on Wednesday morning, heavy, wet, dense snow, reduced visibility, and slick and snow-covered roads. With the heavy, wet nature of the snow, be careful when you are shoveling as it can put a strain on your body. Stay hydrated and make sure to take frequent breaks when you are shoveling. Be sure to check back to our website, weather.gov slash IWX, and to our social media for the latest forecast information. This will be the last briefing for Wednesday's winter storm event.